Hey guys, it's Kate from Fitness, Family, and Food, and today I wanted to jump on real quick and finish the clean eating series that I have been doing this week. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, expenses and um, really give some um, information about you know eating clean and some tips to save you money. Uh, tonight we're going to um, be celebrating Nana's 93rd birthday today and her favorite meal is um, mussels and she likes them in a nice light uh, white wine sauce. So um, oh, what I do is I put it over uh, cauliflower rice and I thought that would be a great thing to show you because um, I have done it a couple different ways and I have a way that saves time and um, hassle with um, all those little tiny pieces so I thought I'll throw that in there and I will talk about expenses and conveniently enough when I went to the store today um, to pick up the cauliflower so that I had it for tonight's dinner uh, I grabbed organic cauliflower, which I always do. Um, I do um, shop in the organic section, and I, I know a lot of people feel as though it's a lot more expensive. And I thought, you know what, since I'm doing this live today, I'm going to actually go over and check and see what is the cost difference between organic cauliflower and the regular cauliflower um, because I really didn't know and I thought let me just check it out so I walked across the um, the veggie section of Weiss and I went over and looked at the regular cauliflower and surprisingly enough even to me I did not expect it to be the same it was the same exact price there was not any difference at all between the organic cauliflower and the regular cauliflower. So um, that is really just going along with my point. Now there has been some studies done and I will go over all of that but first let's get um, this cauliflower going so that you can see how I do it. Now let me um, get this camera turned and I will show you a couple things. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried cauliflower rice. It is pretty neat. I really do like it. Um, you do have to, you know, flavor it. It's similar to just regular rice. If you don't flavor it um, right, then it's definitely um, going to be a little bit bland. Let me see if I can get it turned maybe this way so that you can see. So, um, anyways, you start with, oh, well, okay, maybe I'll just do it this way. You start with a uh, regular cauliflower, and um, what you do is you want to do, uh, turn it into um, little tiny chunks so that it is uh, more like a rice. Now, a lot of people will do one of two things. If you have a food processor, then you will, um, you know, take it and plop it in your food processor. And I've done that, and let me just tell you, I hate it. I, and I'm just being honest, it's horrible. Um, I don't like all those little teeny tiny pieces that I've got. They, I swear they get in every little teeny tiny crevice. I feel as though I'm wasting food. And it's just a pain to me. I don't, I, I find it to be not a, a great way to, to make it, but yet it's quick, it's convenient. And I know a lot of people do use that. Um, even with like a little chopper though, when you have that, those little tiny pieces just, they get everywhere. And so you're trying to pick them out so that you don't waste any of the cauliflower. And then you end up, you know, just being frustrated if you're like me at all. The other thing you can do is to avoid that is you can just take a knife, a sharp knife, and you can cut it yourself, right? But that is really takes a lot. It's not easy. And you're still going to get a lot of crumbs on your plate. And um, 
it takes time. It's it's time can be can uh, you you have to actually sit there and keep chopping and chopping until you can get the consistency. By doing it by hand, uh, you know, if you're like me, you're not going to have the same consistency throughout. Sometimes there will be bigger chunks, uh, smaller chunks. I'm dropping my cauliflower today. So, there we go. So, anyway, let me grab this. This is how I have discovered that it can be done, and it is so much easier. Now, this is all I have to do. I'm going to keep it in these big giant chunks. I'm not going to do anything further. All I have to do is just clean it up. I've already washed it, and um, it is ready to go. And yes, I am using the pressure cooker. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to take one cup of bone broth that I have right here, and I am going to just pour it into the bottom of my pressure cooker. That's it. You can, if you don't have that, you can use any kind of regular broth. You can also um, just use water if you want to. I like the flavoring that it gives. It just gives a little bit of a different, richer flavor, which is why I use the bone broth. You can make bone broth in a pressure cooker as well, and then just freeze it and take it out as you need it. This is the um, little tray that I put in for steaming. And then I'm going to take my cauliflower and I am going to put it right on top. And that is it. I'm not going to do anything further with it until it is cooked. And then once it is all cooked, I'm going to be able to very simply with a fork break it into the rice pieces. No pieces that I have to, you know, dig out and, and try to um, clean up after. It makes it much, much simpler. Let me see if I can get this last piece in. So, let's go back and finish up real quick. I want to give you a couple pointers. First of all, always check, um, you know, yes, eating clean can be a little bit more expensive. Uh, the researchers at, at the Harvard School of Public Health said that it's about $1.50 more a day. Um, but there are things that you can do to save money. Just like this cauliflower today that I bought, um, you know, it was the same price. The organic cauliflower today was the same price as the regular cauliflower. So check. Be a wise shopper. Don't just assume that one is going to be more expensive than the other. The other thing you can do is, um, you know, I could have gone to the store and got this already chopped up. They do sell, the supermarkets sell it. You know, um, you can get veggies that are already spiralized, already cut into portions, that are already, you can get rice, uh, cauliflower that's already been riced. Um, those are conveniences. And you know what, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, when it gets super busy, I will opt for convenience because I think that it helps to ensure that I'm going to eat good whole foods, you know, but honestly to get this at the same price as a, a regular cauliflower and five minutes in the pressure cooker and then it's good. So, you know, do you, is that available for you that you can definitely, you know, use? Absolutely, but it would save you money if you just take the time to cook your own beans, rice your own cauliflower, chop your own vegetables, you know, make your own bone broth. Um, the other thing is, you know, keep in mind portions. I, I can't tell you how many times that I've had to say, you know, that bag of almonds is not one day snack girl. You know, those girls, they can sometimes just sit down and eat myself. You, I'm sure you have too. You know, so it's just as easy with bad, unhealthy food to overeat snacks. Um, so pre-portion, uh, measure, you know, weigh. If you aren't good at, at measuring things out, you know, weigh and measure. Stop buying single serving. 
buy it in bulk and portion your own. And you know, the final thing is you have to think about the season. Um, you know, I, I love fruits and vegetables and with this pressure cooker, it makes it so much easier and quicker. Um, I love raspberries as a snack every single day. I like them. However, um, there are times when they're in season and there are times when they are not. And you sort of have to think about that. Go to the local farmer's market. Um, you know, there might be a couple spots. You know how you can sometimes get a couple spots on your fruits and vegetables when you go to the farmer's market. But they're still good. And you can buy then and freeze for later or can for later. You can, um, you know, eat what is in season to help save you money. So those are my tips. It's not that much more expensive or is the same price um, as I found out today. I'm going to get this started and show you real quick. I'm going to put my lid on. All right. I'm going to lock it. It's in the lock position. I'm going to make sure that it is closed so you can see. Got some dust on there. And then I am going to, now right now, I am going to turn it on. Now, um, I'm going to hit the ricer, which is um, the six minutes. You can do it between three and five minutes. I'm going to actually turn it down because I, whoops, I am going to hit the vegetables and then I'm going to adjust it. And I'm going to do it for five minutes. I want it just a little bit, um, to be a little bit stiffer so that when I put the muscles over it. If you want it to be mashed cauliflower, I would up it to seven or eight minutes. Um, as soon as this is done, I will release the steam right here by turning it so that that opens that up and that will stop it from continuing to cook and we will be done. So this is the last day of my clean e eating series. I will be taking tomorrow off and enjoying my Sunday. And then I will see you again with a new series starting on Monday. Have a great night.